Hello, Clifton. Hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, we're gonna get some good vibes for all of our eyes, right? Get some Palo Santo up in here. God, I love the smell of that. It's so soothing, right? I don't know, I just really like it. Okay, all right. All right, collective. Get some coffee real quick. Okay, short, long story, right? No pun intended. <laughs> So I did my nails this weekend <laughs> um, with a very special energy. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed my time. It was amazing. Um, but after I got done, they're so long. I don't do this, right? I don't do this. <laughs> um, I feel like like Thriller, <laughs> but also the movie um, Edward Scissorhands has been coming to my mind the last couple days. So that could resonate with somebody. So anyway, just a little little throw down on a download real quick. Okay, let's get your divine daily for our collective. All elements, all signs, divine masculine, divine feminine. If you believe that you are on this earth with a good purpose and good intentions, then this reading is for you. Let's see. Divine daily. Your divine daily. Ooh. What does our collective need to know? We've got clearing on the bottom of the deck, which I really like. Um, I'm all about clearing negative energy out of your life to make room for what is like what's needed, right? What needs to come, what the divine is trying to, to deliver you, right? Like what you truly deserve. Okay, we've got karma, individuality, and guidance. Uh, karma, there's nothing from the past that can't be addressed in the current life individuality. Every person has their own personalized uh, study plan in this earth school. Right, which is so ironic because clearly we are here to learn, right? Um, it's just a matter of who's paying attention. <laughs> We're listening, right? Um, guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Again, following the change following the flow of the universe when it comes to making the choices that make you feel better, you know, doing things that make you feel, you know, at ease, um, really getting out of your comfort zone to experience new things so that you can find out who you truly are, right? Okay, and then we have clearing. Oh, and gratitude, okay. As true offering arises, it becomes easier to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, 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 such freedom. So when you do that, again, you're letting go of what you've outgrown. You're letting go of, you know, what no longer makes you who you are today, right? Because as we grow, as we learn, as we evolve in our own personal character, in our own personal demeanor, the way we present ourselves to the world, right? Who we are every day when we decide to wake up, who we decide we're gonna be, right? If we're gonna be ourselves or if we're gonna pretend to be somebody else. That's what it's talking about. You will get karma if you don't be yourself, right? You're guided to clear out what no longer is serving you. And if you're not clearing that out, those negative energies are affecting you when it comes to your individuality. And that's what's going to bring you karma. You're going to end up having to go through the karma of what all of these people of negative energies and lower vibrations are surrounding you. So when you clear that out, you put down healthy boundaries, you set expectations for your, for your peace, for your inner peace, your outer peace, right? When you set those expectations, people understand that they can't mess with your energy, right? People will keep trying, trust me. And yet they will fail, right, every time because you're being divinely guided. You are grateful for what you've been through. You're grateful for the experiences, the lessons, you know, the trials, the tribulations. You're a, you're grateful for everything you've gone through. And so when you when you do that, you get good karma. Helps you become your own individual your own individual person. 
it guides you on the path of where you need to go, right? And then again, you're leaving behind, you're outgrowing what you're no longer needing or what no longer is helping you become a better version of you. Um, fill me with gratitude and all in, for all you give. May I be a vehicle for wherever you go. So always being grateful. Always be grateful for what you have so that the divine can deliver you more. Um, you know, always be in that thankful heart space. If you truly have that in your soul and you are grateful and you are thankful, you will be guided to go in the right direction. The, the divine will always sail you to the most beautiful sunset. That's why they're trying to get you in the first place. But we get distracted in this human experience and you know, we float, oh, I got that song, Float float On. Who sings that? Is it Muse? Float On. I can hear the song. I'm not gonna sing it for you. <laughs> Lucky you. Um, anyway, you might have to Google, that could be, that could resonate. But this, this, I mean, again, this butterfly, indicates change. This is like your North Star. It's going to your destiny. It's going, it's traveling, it's adventuring to where you're being called, right? You're being guided. I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of blue, a lot of yellow, you know. I don't know, I, I just feel like with your solar and your sacral chakras, you know, you're opening your mindset, you know, opening your throat chakra right so that you can speak your truth so that you can hold that individuality if you're not speaking your truth then you're not being yourself you know if you sit back and you let people tell you how to live your life that's not you being individual if you sit back and you listen to you know groups of people and their opinions as to how to you know go about your life if you're letting other people dictate you and your life that is something you need to clear out or you're going to be getting karma for that. It's something that you're not learning, right? Hmm. Let's get one more. We're just going to split the deck and see what it is. Oh, inner power. Okay. I like that. That's perfect. You have to find that strength. Find that strength. Be a beast, right? You are a beast collective. Be a beast. You know, be... Take that approach when you need to, right? Make sure that you're speaking your truth, you're setting your healthy boundaries, and you're going on the path, right? You're following the path for what the divine is trying to guide you on. If you stay focused and you stay in that in that throne, you know, you're in your in your power, your inner power, if you stay, if you stay in that throne and you hold down your ground, you will see change in your life and things that are not good for you will start clearing out. You know, you have to sacrifice, we got sacrifice. You have to sacrifice exactly what you've outgrown. You know, no matter how close and dear to your heart it is, a lot of the time you do have to let go of people, places, things, addictions, and things like that that you don't want to, but they were not meant for your life forever, you know? They were only meant for your life for a reason and for a season, not forever. Um, give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. So for a moon day, it is a new moon. I feel like um, today is definitely the best kind of energy when it comes to manifesting positivity, um, really trying to attract that into your life, putting that out into the universe. Today is a perfect day to start that. When you take control of your own life, then you, you'll see change, you know, you truly see change. All right, collective, that was a wrap. That was a 10 minute divine daily today <laughs> on this moon day, this Monday, this new moon Monday, right? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll be posting, um, the new moon, um, individual, well, not probably not individual signs, but probably elements 
um, later. So take a look out for that. And until tomorrow, I'll see you later, Collective. Bye.